Now as promised, this is just a really quick thank you video to two or three people. I don't do like shout outs or anything like that, but I feel as if there's two or three folks that I really need to thank. I thank them by email, but email is quite impersonal, you're not actually physically talking to the person. So first of all, I would like to thank Dan. Not that Dan. Now Dan's a lad that lives reasonably near me, about, oh I don't know, 20-25 minutes away from me. And we've been out detecting on each other's land. We had reasonable success. And in one of those videos, I found this, which is knackered now. <laughs> I had to destroy it to get it open. But that is a sovereign holder. Those of you who are regular viewers will remember I had to put a screwdriver in there and break it apart to get into it. And I was hoping to find it crammed full of sovereigns, but there wasn't anything in there. Apart from the, the little plate, which would at one time have been spring-loaded. So that's, it's still a nice find. So that's the one I found. And about, I don't know, a week, maybe it's a week and a half, after me and Dan had been out, I went into my shop and that was waiting for me with a little note in saying thanks for the day's detecting. And this is actually what that sovereign holder would have looked like before it spent an eternity in the ground and before I smashed it to bits with a screwdriver. And that's, that was just a really nice touch. I, I always feel bad about getting things given but that's I mean that's really nice he's a really nice fella and um, family man like me works hard and likes detecting so I really do appreciate that thanks very much really nice and in a similar vein to that there's a guy on YouTube who's got a channel called Detectin Dorset called Lee Citroen Symes I hope I pronounced that right just call him Lee Detecting with Lee Detecting Dorset He's got some good land and he finds some nice stuff and he's a really nice fella and it took about six emails backwards and forwards for me to accept something that he was going to give us. As I say, I, I feel bad about getting things that people give us. Um, but he said, if I, you know, I've got some coins that I would like you to have, you can give them to your son for his collection. So my son does love collecting coins, he loves coming out detecting when our schedules match up because he's very busy with football I'm very busy with work but these three coins that he sent are absolutely beautiful they're in excellent condition for the age as well not sure how well that's going to come out on film but hopefully you can see that that's Britannia sitting there and that's from the late 1600s and that is a William and Mary Farthen if I get the light right, you might be able to just about make out the double bust there. I'm just looking at the viewfinder, I think. That's about it. And that's in cracking condition. I found a few William and Mary half pennies, and they've always been very worn. On a good one up here, you can just about make out the double bust. And it's pretty exciting to find something from the late 1600s, because that's got a hell of an age to it. So not only did he send me that beautiful little coin from the late 1600s, he also sent me those, which are pretty much from the same period, and those ones are Charles II. They're both farthens. Just see if I can see the date on that. 1679 on that one. And I think this one is 1674. So he was just before William and Mary. And just look at the detail on that portrait side. Hopefully it's not coming out too blurred. My camera's about knackered. But that's a cracking coin. So three beautiful coins sent from Lee. And I've really got to send him something back. <laughs> As I say, I feel bad about accepting anything from, from people. But my son James thanks you as well. Thank you very much. People, check out his channel. I'll put a link in the video description. Thirdly, I'd like to thank Gary Gus Parkin from Sparty Gus One channel. He's the fella who makes the trench art, the beautiful trench art that I'm giving away in the competition and hopefully I'll give more trench art away in the coming months as well because I really, I really love the stuff he makes. It's a real homage to the people who fought and died in the First and Second World War. 
I love it. And anybody who's ever seen it loves it as well. It's beautiful stuff, so thanks for making those, Gary. Shut up, man! The pheasant always interrupts us. And lastly, this is an envelope from a fella called James Stumbo. He's also got a channel on YouTube. Check it out. He sent me an email saying he wanted to send me something again. I said, please, I don't like, I don't like people sending me things. But he insisted. He said I would really like it. I don't know what it is yet because I haven't opened it. So I'm going to open it live. Hopefully it's some nudie pictures of beautiful women. But I doubt it. It's a letter saying, Dear Richard, you suck. I hate you and I am unsubscribing. I'm only kidding. <laughs> it says, Dear Richard, this piece of silver was f silver was found at an 1830s plantation home near Danville, KY, Kentucky. KY, I think that's Kentucky. It was approximately six inches in the ground and was found with my Garrett Ace 350. I am sure you will enjoy this piece and add it to your collection. I'm not 100%, but I think it is a cut piece from a British coin. Thanks for all your great videos and advice. Wish you all the best and, as always, good luck and happy hunting. P.S. Received my Pro Pointer cover the other day and love it. <laughs> there you go. He was one of the winners of a previous giveaway. So let's have a look. That's strange. It's like the little bits of coins that I find in a local park that have been hit with a lawnmower. I mean, this, this is really a fragment of a coin. Pretty sure that says part of Britannia. Uh, that EX would be Rex. Judging by the size of it and the thickness, I would say possibly a half crown. I don't know whose it is though. But what a cracking thing to find in America, in Kentucky. Part of a possibly 1800s coin, an English coin. So that's a cracking little fragment of coin. And uh, what it was doing over there, I don't know. What it was doing chopped up, I don't know. By the looks of it, it's been possibly chopped up to melt down because it's so small. It's the sort of coin that wouldn't be cut in half to make it half the value or anything like that. And anyway, I don't think it would have a value, apart from the silver content, if it was in America and it was an English coin. But thank you very much, James. That's a really nice thing to send me. I'm, I'm loving it. Just a quick general thanks to everybody that watches the videos, everybody that takes time to comment. I don't even think I've got round to answering the comments on the last video. I normally leave them two or three days and do them all in in bulk, all in one go, but I don't think I've done any on my last video, so <laughs> I apologise. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'll have got to them and I'll have answered all the questions and thanked everybody. But thank you to everybody that watches the videos, thanks to all the subscribers, and I hope to bring you more detecting videos, wait, I will be bringing you more detecting videos, but I hope to bring you videos where there's decent finds, and I just wish everybody out there good luck and happy hunting, no matter where you are in the world. And I'm starting to ramble, so I'm going to give up. But I just appreciate what I see on YouTube and the feedback I get, the passion for history that people have. It's the same passion I have, I love to share it. And I'm just really proud to be part of this great community. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, brothers and sisters, I fear that the devil is among us. He's doing well, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Good.